Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. Just want to start off on the weekly to highlight a few things. First thing is you can see how the oscillators are pointing to the downside and starting to ease off the top here, coming out of overbought territory and um, it's really starting to look nice at the moment. And then the second thing I want to point out is we've had last week we had a bit of a range bar and you can see this week we're just kind of hovering inside there. So those weekly highs are probably what you need to focus on at the moment the weekly highs and lows because obviously we're going to need to break through those in order for us to get a direction one way or another whether it's the downside or whether it's to the upside uh, my gut says it's going to be to the upside i mean that's just what i can see this is a buy the dip type market it has been for so many years i don't see anything that's going to change that right now so um with all that being said there's no real structure just yet so um, looking at the moving averages, we've got a crossover, uh, three crossovers at the moment, and they're all pointing to the downside. Oscillators coming back to the downside. This trend line is intact, but look at the price action of yesterday, and you can see the two levels that I've got in at the moment. So the first one that we definitely need to clear is 43.70. Uh, we need to hold above that uh, for this double bottom to play out, or triple bottom should be say. At the moment, we are below that level and we're coming down to the next area, which is 43.28 or 43.29 actually. Um, let's just get down to the three hour. And you can see this week has been fairly, fairly difficult to trade. Um, nice strong move up early in the week. Looked like a break of the, 50, one, of the 155. Looked for a retest of that to get long and uh, that failed dramatically. So um, nothing else has come to well come in my radar anyway so um, you can see these tails here rejecting moving averages here also rejecting this 4371 area so that's definitely an area we need to pay attention to we're looking for a move above it now remember earnings season starts today we have the fed minutes later this afternoon so remember we had the fed minutes um last week and uh now we wait for the minutes so really for those new traders a bit of a confusing setup now the feds have their three-day meeting they have a press conference afterwards to tell you what they spoke about in the meeting they, they release their meeting uh, notes but then a week later they release their minutes and now we wait for the minutes to see if there's anything that we missed so um, and then we'll bounce around for a bit and then continue in the direction that the market was going originally so anyway uh, just a just a really bit of a uh, should we call it panic that we uh, we need to deal with? So for me, this is the structure, and you can see at the lows of yesterday, which is forty three twenty nine, and then we have forty three seventy one. Those are the highs and lows. If we do break below this, I suspect this trend line is going to hold up price. It's going to be around forty uh, forty three hundred. We start breaking below forty three hundred. There is quite a bit of support lower down. Um, 4280, uh, you know, 4250 and 4200, there's a lot of support as well. So I don't see us dropping further than that, but we could just have one more push down just to play out this, uh, what looks like a bit of a flag, but it's a bit of a messy flag. So that is possible. I think for me, um, when you see this kind of price action here, that's not something you want to be trading. And that was during the, the open of the US and then we sort of, came back to where uh, the futures market opened. So nothing really on offer as far as I'm concerned. I'm looking for structure and that structure will probably come late today after the Fed minutes are out. So what I suspect is we've got some data coming out in Europe and we have a few earnings coming out. That may impact uh, a move one way or another. We have a little sharp move down or sharp move up. Uh, but then once that's over, it's just going to go sideways up until the Fed minutes don't see anything else happening so kind of expecting this price action here uh, for the fed minutes and then also bear in mind that we have cpi coming out today as well and that'll be earlier so that may also trigger a spike and then go back into a range as well so um my advice really is just wait for all this noise to finish uh, basically another day you need to sit on your hands and uh, wait for the noise and you should get a fairly good feel for what earnings season is going to be as well and after that look for the structure to to get into the move you're not going to miss out on much um, that much i can promise you so um, even if it does 
bolt to the upside, uh, you, you'll get some kind of a pullback and then a break. When you start breaking above these two highs here, that's going to be the confirmation you're looking for. And then you're looking for uh, 4,500, uh, 4550, 4600. Those are the, air, the levels to the upside. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, we are sideways. Let's just wait and wait for the noise uh, today. Get all the noise out the way, and then we can start looking at the direction and see what's going to transpire. Uh, earnings season, I have a feeling, is going to be at its normal strong stellar self as well. So um, bear that in mind as well. Okay, uh, that's me for now. Anyway, hope it helps, and we will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.